Today I wanted to go over the highlights panel, which is this topmost section on most objects in Salesforce that gives you a quick preview. Doesn't matter what tab you're on, you're always going to have that highlight section up there. And uh, how to update it, and then also how to put images on there, and particularly cool images that will update depending on Salesforce data. So I've got an American flag right here if the billing country is USA. But if it's Mexico, boom, Mexican flag. Or if I don't have anything in there, the white flag. Okay, I've got to put something in here. And the reason why you might want to do this is to have something that jumps out at your users to be like, hey, you know, we've got to update something. So an example might be dollar signs on an account. If it's a really big account, you might put more dollar signs. Same with opportunity or with cases. You could have a certain number of stars for the uh, the contact or the account that you're working with. Um, and uh, where I got this idea was actually a Salesforce bin article where they had different colored flags based off if people had opted into their email marketing or phone marketing services or not. So how do we do this? Well, if we go and edit this object the first thing we need to know is how specifically we update that highlights field and it's called something different it happens to be called the compact layout and if you haven't updated it you'll be on the system default and you can go into the system default I think the best way of doing it is to actually clone it and make the adjustments because these standard ones are, are pretty um, pretty well thought out but if you don't want to do that, you can also click on New and just decide for, I'll just put a little test right here. Okay, I want to see, I uh, just want to see the facts. Don't care, maybe the account name. All right, we'll put the account name in there and reorder it. And that's how you add those different, uh, different sections on there. Uh, maybe the annual revenue. Be careful after about five or six they will start to drop off the highlights panel and not uh, not show up and then also just because you created a compact layout doesn't mean it's going to display you need to um, have the assignment I'll edit the assignment right here um, selected for the compact layout that you just created so if I wanted to change it to test I would just go from flags only to test right there. So that is how you update the fields of compact layout. Specifically, how did we get those icons in there? Well, I created a field called currency flag. So my idea is if a, uh, an account is associated with a different country you would want to update their currency field make sure you don't bill them in the wrong currency so that's what those flags were all about and um, I created this field uh, this field it's a formula field a text formula field and if we go into how I made that as I just put some if statements in there so if the billing country was USA then I'm going to use this image and the image I got from a place called the noun project if you're ever interested in some free cool images um, and I uploaded that image and let me see where that is to the f a file um, on on there and then just reference that image using that image um, image function over here. I also said what it was, a Mexican flag or United States flag could continue on, you know, indefinitely. I just kind of ended there. And then if it was not one of those in the billing country, then default to that white flag. And I actually do want to show you real quick how those images go in there because it did take me a minute the first time. Um, so I'm going to look for Files. So I'm going to go to files and then uh, I the first time around I just uploaded the images that didn't work for me what I had to do is go to libraries and create a new library I could have put it in the old asset one but I just decided to create a new library 
uploaded the images into that library and then to get the URL I needed for that image field I opened up the image and then I right clicked and I said uh, copy image address so if you see this address right here that's what I use to reference in the image so that's that's specifically the process I use there might be other ways of doing it but um, that's that's what I read about and the process that I did it so um, that's it I that's that's what I have for you um, it's it's mainly come up with a formula field put those images in that formula field whatever criteria you want in there you can put in there and uh, you're off to the races you can ha have that field in your highlights panel and it update based off the updates that users make in the system so if you have any questions feel free to reach out otherwise have a great rest of your week